So I'm really pleased to be able to welcome Andrea and Luke along from the Creating Sanctuary initiative. Um, I'm wondering perhaps if you could introduce yourselves and tell us a little, a little bit about it. Yep, so my name is Luke Dowding. Uh, some of you might recognize me from the Bloomsbury Central Baptist Church days prior to living life on a computer screen. Um, but I'm also the executive director of One Body, One Faith, which you may remember um, as the lesbian and gay Christian movement, um, but we are the UK's national charity supporting lesbian and gay, uh, bisexual and transgender Christians to advocate and enable change in the local context. Um, and we've been partnering with the Creating Sanctuary Initiative. And hello everybody, I'm Andrea King. Um, I work most of my time in, in the world of the NHS uh, in mental health, uh, uh, oversight and incident management um, and in safeguarding uh, services too. Um, I am uh, a member of the uh, Baptist Union uh, and I'm one of the few openly LGBT plus community there, um, ideally training for ministry um, and I've been part of the Creating Sanctuary group. I chaired the group. Excellent. Well, tell us a little bit about Creating Sanctuary. How did it come about? So who's been involved with it? Uh, so Creating Sanctuary really um, arose through good people coming together, and Luke was foremost in that group. Um, it's brought together Baptist Union leaders and Church of England leaders to um, design a new conversation for churches of all Christian denominations. So it doesn't matter which denomination you belong to. It was designed explicitly to respond to um, the harm being caused to members of the LGBT plus community, our rainbow community in churches. Um, and that's uh, through fear and exclusion and through discrimination. We were seeing the harm that was causing uh, day in, day out. And we collectively reached a point of saying this, this is not OK, this must stop. What we heard clearly from church leaders was they didn't know how to begin the conversation. And so Creating Sanctuary is an online resource uh, that's divided into six very manageable sections uh, that enables church communities, faith communities, to talk about uh, issues of sexuality and gender but to talk about them in a respectful way, understanding the impact that church has had on the rainbow community. It intentionally doesn't evoke old conversations around theology. It moves towards what does it mean to be an inclusive people? How do we treat each other? How can we make churches safer for all? And of course, in that conversation, the potential of this tool to make churches safe places for lots of people who face different forms of discrimination is also there. It's resonated hugely with national government leaders, House of Lords leaders, uh, safeguarding leaders, mental health leaders have provided proactive support to this tool. But it's also a live discussion with denominational leadership groups, so Living in Love and Faith for the Church of England, Baptist House for the Baptist Union, and we've received huge support from other denominations who are further ahead with this conversation. So URC, the Methodist Church, would be good examples of that. I just think it's really key to emphasize that this is not a theological document, and you already alluded to that. It's not an attempt to rehash debates that have been plaguing the church and us, let's be honest, for centuries, um, but rather just an opportunity for people to get to grips with the, the real heart of the conversation, which is when LGBT plus people are caused pain, are caused harm. Um, and so Andrea's expertise especially has been, a, has been vital in developing the resource to come from that safeguarding lens, that protection of people, protection of life lens that has actually been missing from a lot of the conversations previously because church leaders just haven't engaged with it on a pastoral or personal level. It's been purely theological. So how can 223 people kind of use this resource or get involved in it? Yeah, I would say the, the easiest way is to go to, first of all, to check out some of the material on the website. Um, uh, we've worked really hard to make the website as accessible as possible, but we're always open to feedback on that. So if there's a way of making the website more accessible, then do let us know. There's a contact form on the website. Um, but first of all, get to grips with some of the material yourself. Look through what we've produced, look through some of the resources that we've combined through, as Andrea said, a, a really um, broad team in terms of skill set. 
um, and then consider how you might be able to broach that conversation with your local church leader. If you are in a church where you know that the conversation has been difficult to have around LGBT, around human sexuality and gender identity, then this might be the, the way that you can start to have a conversation with your church leader around how can we address this in a way that doesn't polarize, but prevents harm from happening to LGBT plus people. I would just add to that, that this resource starts with our voice. It starts with the experience and lived experience of us within the rainbow community. And it is intended to provide a place where all can come and learn and build relationship and where we can change. And the only thing I'd add to what Luke has said is be encouraged. The response from church leaders has been significant and it has been by and large been really positive. There obviously have been some who've reacted very strongly against this, but the vast majority have welcomed it. So do grasp this. Uh, tell us how we can improve it and take it to the places you know it can make a difference. But thank you so much for doing it and thank you for taking your time. I think people will be so encouraged. Thank you, Alex. And look, if people have got feedback, if they've got suggestions, if they think there's other things we could be doing, we're at the point of doing the, uh, developing the trans non-binary uh, resources, privileging those voices and those experiences. Um, but if there are other things that either people want to join in with that or they want to say, this stuff also matters and we haven't done it yet, um, let us know, would you? And we'll add it in.